Okay, we've got an electric compressor here. This one is out of a Prius, probably from the uh, mid-2000s, 2007, 2008, somewhere around that, that range. Um, we can see it's 134A compressor. It tells us what oil to use, the ND Oil 11. We've got the part numbers on there. Gives us some information as far as the pressures in millipascals. So our high side, we got 3.53 millipascals and on the low side we got 1.67 millipascals or mega I should be saying mega pascals excuse me capital M um, just got a note from Vinny pop up on the screen here we'll get back to you Vinny all right so we're gonna rip this bad boy apart all right I've been inside these compressors before but I haven't been inside this one in particular we can see our hose connections here, we got the one on the front, we got the one on the back. We look down inside the back, we can actually see some motor windings inside there. Up here we have our electrical connector. We got the three cables coming in. We got the connector going back to the electrical system on the vehicle. Again, the three cables, we're looking at three phase. Uh, took a picture of these bolts that we're gonna be coming across. They've got an unusual setup on them. They really, they want you to have special tools to take these apart. But the ones I've worked on before, a pair of uh, vice grips, work quite nicely to break them loose. And then typically, once you break them loose, they come out fairly easy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off this connector for the three-phase electrical going in there. Again, this is going to be AC coming in here. Got an AC motor. Um, I'll double check on the voltage. I should, should, should know the voltage for one of these things off the top of my head, but I don't. So we'll go ahead. We got that unbolted. We can take that apart. Bite with it a little bit. There we go. All right, so we got that whole connection taken apart. Just unbolted it. It comes apart. We can see we got the three studs coming through. Well, we can see if I put the camera on there. Three studs coming through. And then we got our three female terminals on the other side of the connector going back to our cable. And cable is just a cable. We'll take and set that aside for now. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, we go inside here. This connector will actually come out. We've got a snap ring there. We can take that snap ring out. We can pull the compressor out. And as I recall, that's going to be necessary to disassemble because that connector will go down inside and actually prevent internal components from coming out. So I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna grab my snap ring pliers so we can pull that connector out.